Hi friends, David here from Learn Christmas Lighting. And today I want to start just like a little mini series this week and next. Just do a couple videos about the, okay, we're in X lights. Before we start sequencing, what do we need to do? And these are really two things that go hand in hand that I think a lot of people miss and forget to do before they move to sequencing in X-Lights. And, and it's really important in the layout tab to knock out these couple things before you start sequencing because it's gonna make your life easier. It's gonna help you to uh, also build a much better show. And so why not make your life easier and build a better show, right? You know, that's what we're here for. So um, let's chat about what we're gonna do here. So the first thing we wanna look at here is groups, okay? So if you're new to X lights, maybe this is new to you. Um, I was talking to actually a Lightorama user the other day, and he mentioned, hey, in Lightorama, there are no groups. There's no groups at all. You can't sequence a group of lights, okay? So what's a group? A group is simply a collection of different models, okay? So when we're in X lights, what we're gonna do, and if this is your first year, this is gonna be important to you, you may have followed my tutorials already and, and you might create a bunch of different models in X lights. Okay. You know, we've got the single line here, the poly line, sphere, star trees. And then of course there's the downloaded one and the imported ones, which are generally when you've bought Coro props and you're then going to sequence those, right? Okay. So we've got those guys and I actually need to add in my singing faces to my display. I haven't done that yet. Um, and the next thing we really want to do that a lot of people forget is we want to add in our groups, okay? So right here at the top, you see all of my groups for my show. This is my house. This is my personal show. Uh, you see all these different groups that I have. What do they do? Well, a group is just anything that you want to be able to sequence. You want to be able to add an effect to individually in X lights, okay? Um, and when you have something in a group, like let's say here, I've got my snowflakes group. You can see here, we'll zoom in. It's these three snowflakes that are now in yellow. Okay. When we add an effect to a group, we're now adding it to all three of those items. Okay. In, in the sequencer. And so instead of having to copy and paste that effect three times, we get it over the whole group. Now there are some nuances there as to how it looks. Um, but overall it's going to speed you up a lot. So a lot of the groups you want to create, like, for example, you want to create an all group that has all your stuff in it, right? Um, for moving heads like the Dominar Beam, um, I talk about making groups for all of your different aspects of the moving head, all the different channels it has. Uh, but I have groups for, like, my matrices, my roof line, etc. Okay? And this is what you want to do before you sequence anything. Okay? Um, because when you create this group and our next video will be on sub models, uh, but when you create this group, then you can go into the sequencer and when you create a sequence, I'll just create a new one. By default, you get all your, your groups right here and all your models individual below. And so most of the time when sequencing, we're going to stay in the groups realm. We're going to be sequencing with groups. Um, and then sometimes we might go to the bottom and sequence on models and anything lower in X lights, which is where the models sit by default under the groups, um, anything lower is going to, uh, to take precedence. It's going to be a higher priority than anything higher. Okay. Um, now that's only in the overall flow of, of the sequencer. If you make layers, that's going to be different. Okay. Um, so let's talk about, what if you didn't make your groups and now you're sequencing? This is actually really easy, but it's a common question that I hear a lot from people. Um, in fact, all this training and, and a whole lot more is actually available inside of Learn Christmas Lighting Academy. Uh, we'll have a link at the end and below that you can learn more about that. But if you do, if you did, you know, you create a sequence and it doesn't have all your groups in it, or maybe you added new models to your show and they're not it. Okay. A couple things you want to do. First and foremost, um, any new models you add, put them into existing groups if they fit, okay? Because then if you open up an old sequence and this new model's in the group, it's automatically going to be added. You just re-render the sequence. The new thing is added. It's there. Sure, if you wanted to do anything unique, you'll have to add that manually, remap your sequence, whatever. But, but if you just add it to the group, it will get added. It will respond and, and it will take you no time. Um, but then in the sequencer, if there's new models or new groups, 
and you need to add them in. It's as simple as right clicking in this right section here, this left section, sorry, left uh, section that has all your models, edit display elements. And this window pops up. I like to make it bigger, pops up kind of small. And then right here, if I had things that I hadn't added yet to this, that I had added to my layout, but I hadn't, but I made this sequence previous to that, it would show up right here. Okay. Any groups, any, any, um, any individual models are going to show up here. Then all I do is I can select them all, select individually. I can use shift. I can use control, um, or I assume Apple if you're on a Mac and then you can bring it over and just add it. And now it's in this list. I can see where it is in order for this sequence. I can move these around them. They just drag around for the priority. Okay. And then I can close. All right. And then I've got those models. They are now part of my sequence. I can now work with them. And that's all you got to do. All right. And I got to the end of this video. And so just before we, we hit the outro, I forgot to show you how to create a group. I can't believe this. I know it's in my other X lights videos, but there's a couple ways to do it. Uh, one, you can right click anywhere and press add empty group. If you have some lights selected, you right click add selections or create group from selections. We can also add selections to existing groups. So we do that and then we select our group and whatever we have selected gets added, including multiple groups. It's not just one. Um, you can also delete your empty groups. So if you have groups that accidentally um, you created, you never put anything in, you can get rid of those. The other way to create groups is to go in and select any group that's created. So if you right clicked and added an empty group or you've got an existing group, you just go in here and at the bottom here on the left, this is all your models that aren't in that group. Anything that you've created that's not in this specific group, including sub models, including groups, um, but you can check those on and off. And then we just go select what you want. A uh, shift works, control works on windows, Apple on Mac. You can add those guys in. Okay. And then they get added. I'm going to undo that though, because I don't need that in my show, but that's how you add a group. Awesome. So if you liked this, be sure to check out more from learning Christmas lighting. If you're brand new to Christmas lighting, brand new to X lights, you've never done any of this before. Check out my free guide to, uh, the, the things you need to know before you begin with Christmas lighting over at learnchristmaslighting.com. And we will see you in our next video. Thanks.